After having the cheap stereo system for a while, you find several problems with it. So here are three of the biggest problems I have with the cheapest audio system available. Number one, Ellie Golding. No, not her particularly, but listen to this. That's a remix made by Bass Nectar, but the important part is at about 1000 hertz, so that high-pitched noise you hear is piercing much louder than the rest of the song, which made me look at this. A noise spectrum analyzer. You can see right there at the peak of it that 1000 hertz is clearly way louder than the rest of the song, which made me look at something further. I found there's a thing called a pink noise generator. Yeah, ignore that second one right there. Pink noise is basically just like white noise, except that it starts out really high in the deep bass notes and then drops off as you get higher in the octaves. Why that's useful is you can compare the input, which is expected, this line here, to the output of what the sound system does. It's unrealistic to expect that every sound system is going to sound perfectly as the artist intended, but your ears can pick up a difference of about six decibels from octave to octave. So something like that, I'm not an audio expert, but it's pretty obvious that when that spike is so extreme, your ears can hear the difference. At this point, I don't really have a solution other than to not play Ellie Golding ever again in my life. And uh, I guess I'm okay with that. The dual head unit is a $20 piece of crap which works well for all general purposes except for its equalizer. You do not have the ability to tune that thousand hertz piercing god awful noise out of the system. I guess the only way you could do that is if your input was equalized and uh, I don't know how I could easily do that. My second and third annoyances are actually with the dual head unit itself. First of all, here's a USB port absolutely useless. I thought when I first made the video that I could possibly charge my phone there as well as have it connected for audio reasons. That is absolutely not the case. I ended up having to get you know a standard well basically Chinese made 2.4 amp beast right here to accommodate for the lack of power this thing gives. So even though I'm aux in for this demo I've actually switched over to Bluetooth. Which brings me to my third and final issue that I really have. You can see right there as the camera focuses, that's a microphone. The problem with that is when you're paired up with your phone, which Bluetooth audio is a kind of a newer thing for me, I've always just done aux, but when you're paired up with your phone, if you go to transcribe something using Siri or anything else like that, it stops using the onboard microphone and uses this little piece of shit right here. Strongly not recommended at all. All. I, I have taken calls, which this thing does. I have taken calls. People struggle listening to me, you know, asking me to repeat things while I'm driving. Although, I'll be honest, it is better than having your phone up to your ear illegally in traffic. As for the subwoofer, this thing has been genuinely wonderful. I'm not somebody who's trying to blow my eardrums out every five seconds, but it bumps as much as I need to in such a little car like this. It does kind of fall apart at the higher notes, but that's kind of the point of a subwoofer, isn't it? Which brings me to this little guy right here. This is my next little adventure. It's the cheapest speakers. Let's bring them out. The cheapest speakers from Amazon. They're piles. They were $10 for a pair of them. And they're 6.5 inch subwoofers. So I'm going to be plugging these into the rear of this car. Beneath this carpet right here. To see if these will work. First of all without an amp. And second of all how they sound. It's very apparent that some of you guys absolutely enjoy this budget build and have some hilarious comments to add to it, which I fully encourage. As I've been building the four rotor, all my money is sapped from my daily driver and I'm left with this, which genuinely is a lot of fun. But what I want to ask from you guys is what other budget videos would you wanna see? And I don't really mean budget in the sense of like trying to be cheap, but just really, why, why not have me test the cheapest shit you can find at different stores? which gives me a hint to the next video you might see it in the background shots of this is the shitty static clang window tint. I've always wondered if that's any good and you can see this window right here has a piece that I've been letting sit for a couple days just to see how bad it is and let's be honest we're gonna find something bad at some point.